In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, we're going to continue our look on advanced text editing. There are some impressive things you can do with a very few mouse clicks, and I really like what this tool has to offer. So we have a sample text that we've already edited with a, some of the tools available. And to get to it, we click on the sample in the Layers panel on the left side. We click on the Effect button, the FX little square. That will get me to my Layers properties. We've looked at the first four options, Bevel and Emboss, Border, in Inner and Outer Glow. I'm going to turn them all off. Let's look at the next one, which is Color Gradient. When I click on Color Gradient, I'm going to open it up to show you all the things that you can do. Now, as we mentioned in the previous exercise, you can also apply a color gradient to the border, to the outer border, but it uses the same tools, the same techniques we have here. Now, you notice you have five different kinds of gradients that you can apply. The default is this rectangular gradient from left to right, starting out with black on the one side and white on the other. The angle is horizontal. Let's look at some changes that we can make. We can use any of these custom gradients. Let's try a couple of them to see what you can do. So those are just a few. Now the other option you have, if you don't want any of those, is you can create your own. Let's take a very simple one here. And here we find that we have different options. If we ha click on the plus symbol next to the garbage can, we can add a color stop. So I'll do that. And I need to pick a color. I'll just pick this one. Click on OK. Now I have a color stop. Now I can move it left to right anywhere I want. I can click below here as well and create another color stop. Any color I like. Anytime I click below the bar, I can create a stop with a different color. To, to remove a stop, all you have to do is click on it and press the garbage can and that will remove that particular option. So you can change it. You can actually move some of these stops on the other side of other colors. So you can slide them anywhere you want to create the kind of effect you want. You can also change the angle. This one happens to be vertical. We can go horizontal. We can go at an angle. Anything we like in terms of how we handle our custom gradients. This is just for one of the gradient styles. Let's see what the other one looks like. The next gradient is radial. It starts out in the center, and this is what you can do with it. And you can change, obviously, where the stops are. And in this case, the left will be the center, and I can make the center bigger and ch change the gradient, change the angle of the gradient. Make it go almost all the way out or in very tight. The third option is another kind. It's an angle gradient. And here again, I'll just go around the compass here and you can see how you can change the angle from the center of the lettering using this particular form of gradient. The next one is basically an up and down and it rotates. Again, you can modify the stops as much as you want. Add, remove, change the pattern. The next one we have is a star, basically in the center. And again, you can modify this by adding stops. Just add one here, and we'll move it. And it will change the way this particular gradient works. And then when we change the angle, it's going to change it even more. So there are lots of variations you can do on the gradients. Uh, I like this tool. It cre gives you a lot of creativity. If you have a gradient that you're working on that you want to keep, I'm going to click on this one. Just add another one to make it different. Click on OK. I want to save that. I click on the Save button. And I can give it a name. I can call it Test. And now it appears below in my color custom gradient selection. So I now have this that I can use. I can load this and use this in a different project. You also obviously have opacity that you can control on any of these gradients and scale. And that applies to any of them that you have. So lots of 
creativity available for you using the color gradient tool. I'll reset everything and we'll look at the next one in the list. The next one is Outer Glow. I'm going to click on that. Again, you can pick a color and you have an opacity is set to 100. You can dial it back if you want it semi-transparent. Let's change the color to a blue. We'll click on OK. And there's a, uh, several techniques of softer or precise again. We've looked at those before. There's this choke factor and you can see it a little bit on the screen here. There's a size. There's my softer option. Here's my precise option. So it's just a nice outer shape type of glow available for you in Photo Director. That's the outer glow. I'm going to reset that one. The next one is Drop Shadow. This is another one with lots of nice options. Uh, the blending mode is Multiply. You can change that. You can change the distance if you want to. And most of us will keep it pretty close to the text. You can change the spread. Get softer, larger, and more detailed. And the size. This will affect basically how diffused it looks. You can change the opacity, of course. And you can change the light source. So you're changing the way in which the shadow is reflected around the letters. And you have 360 degrees, unlike your basic editing controls in Photo Director. So that is your options available to you when it comes to the drop shadow. Let's reset that. The last option we have is called Layer Fill. And you have one control on this one. It's basically opacity. And so that involves the in entire layer that you're working on. That's one I probably wouldn't use a lot because I want people to see my lettering. And when you're done with everything you've worked on, we're just going to click this back on for fun. And let's, while we're at it, let's add a drop shadow. And I can either reset to, to re-edit again. I can click OK or I can cancel. Let's click OK. It takes us back to our main screen. And now we have our modified title text, very carefully edited with these advanced tools in Photo Director 365.